Hey YouTube, what's up? This is my second video uh, uploading on YouTube. Uh, first one was an unboxing video of a dash cam, but I'm focusing on my W204 C250. I want to share my experience, the modifications I've done on my car. The modifications I'm going to show you, uh, I've already done. Like, uh, it would have been nice to show a how-to video, but I'm only doing this now, so a little too late for that. But I'm going to show you my engine bay now. And there is my strut stabilizer bar. A very simple modification, and it does do an improvement on your handling. It's incredible how much of an improvement this bar does. And the install is very simple. Here's your three screws here, and you have three on the other side as well. When installing, I'd recommend, it comes in pieces anyways. I installed this first. I installed the other side. Then I installed the bar. I made sure everything was loose first because it is tight to get in. Once everything is in place, I went ahead and tightened it. And I tightened these, I think it was 18 or 20 PSI. You don't want to do too much. You don't want to strip them. I and mean, that's all it takes. And as you can see right underneath there, here's my chip from Chipwork from Germany. Simple. Here's your housing. Here's my intake, uh, my map sensor, and I have an intake ma uh, intake manifold sensor down underneath my control, my air, my intake. And you just simply disconnect the stock connector, intake, sorry, uh, connect your housing into the sensors and then connect the engine connector to the housing it's it's quite literally that it that's it that's that simple it claims 35 percent uh increase on your horsepower and torque i don't think it's doing that i dialed it to the max it does tell you to do one dial at a time the dial is inside there you gotta do is unscrew these two screws here. You can focus in, but there's two screws there. You unscrew it, open the housing, and the dial is inside. I dialed it two notches at a time, and it's maxed out now. There are no errors. It, like I said, it has improved the vehicle. How much it has, I couldn't tell you. I have not done a dyno, and I've done quite a few modifications. So it's hard to say what's doing what. I'm not, I don't want to say I spent or wasted money on it because when I installed that, that was my, probably, sorry, that was my first modification that I've done. And I did feel an increase in performance. So it does work. How much does it work? I couldn't really tell you, but I seriously doubt it's 35%. So I went online it was well over a month ago now. And I found this carbon fiber intake unit. I fell in love with it. I contacted the manufacturer or someone affiliated with the manufacturer. It's called Tuning Empire. And I asked him, inquired about this product. And we were emailing back and forth. And I got a price on it. And I must say, it's just phenomenal. Uh, it took a while to manufacture, but you know what? It was well worth the wait. There was a little hiccup. There was, there's a two-part system to it. They accidentally sent the wrong parts. Uh, I let them know. They rectified the situation right away. They sent the other product to me within a week and a half. So considering it's, you know, from another country and quite far uh, I'd say it was pretty fast but this is what I'm replacing this unit right here from here to here that's gonna be gone and this connector it's all gonna be carbon fiber there's the box there's our logo Boca so there she is there's our logo all carbon fiber. To me, it's a work of art. I absolutely love it. 
a little costly. Cost me over a thousand bucks for this thing. Some people might say it's just you know, kind of waste of money. It's in your engine bay, but you know what? If you're gonna have things looking good on the inside and the outside, why not in your in your engine bay too? I like to keep everything clean. I like to, you know, just have fun with my car every week. I just detail it. It's kind of my getaway. Clears my head. And this is the part that does not belong to my car. I don't know what it car it belongs to, but so I showed them pictures and they knew right away it was the wrong part. This, in fact, is the right one. That goes together like that. And uh, quite simple install. Everyone who has a C250 will probably know how to take this apart. This simply disconnects. You have two clips on, on the bottom here. And then you push down the clip, pull up, and pull this out, and it is out. So this is what it looks like without it. Now, we're going to see what it looks like with it. So my Boca Carbon Intake install is complete, and it looks amazing. Let's take a look. There it is. All I had to do was cut around there. It's very simple. All it is is a silicone pipe. Very simple to cut. I just marked it, cut it out, fit perfectly. There's a snout. And here's your main unit. And there's the throat size. Much bigger. And notice how it actually molds to the front grill. There it is. So it actually functions properly. I'm going to say it's going to make a massive difference, but it should make a slight improvement. But it's more aesthetically pleasing. That's what I mainly got it for. But like I said, it actually functions. So, you know, you're getting the better of two worlds if you want to pay that price. Um, keep in mind, this fits the stock front grill. The, I upgraded my front grill to the AMG and the connector that supports the front of my grill is bigger than stock. This fits only the stock. So all I did was I removed that connector. It's honestly like, where's it going to go? <sighs> Unless someone boots it with their foot, it's nothing's going to happen. So I just simply removed it. Not a big deal. And then you have a nut here and a nut there. I just unscrewed it. It's pre-drilled to fit, dropped it in, screwed it in, and that was it. Yeah, I think that's absolutely gorgeous. I hope you like this video. I will be uploading more in time. But uh, thanks for watching.